So if you could just kind of introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, I'm, uh, I'll be 90 years old in September. Uh, I'm retired from the Air Force. I was in uh, Korea in 52 and 53. And I was in uh, Beirut in 67 when they had this, the war there. Then I was in Vietnam in uh, 69 and 70. And in between that, I've got about 12 and a half hours, 12 and a half years of flying. Got over 8,000 hours in a 124. What does it mean to you to be doing something like this today? Well, I think it's a great honor. And uh, uh, I think they're, they're, they're respecting the people, you know, and uh, everybody's treated me real, real, real good, you know. What, uh, what are you most looking forward to about today? Well, I'd like to go through the, uh, the Korean and the Vietnam, if they have some Vietnam walls, I think, and then uh, World War II. My name is Jimmy Harris. Uh, I served in uh, Korea in 52, 53. I was a flight engineer on a B-26 bomber. Flew 50 missions over there at night. It means a great deal uh, to have this, and the people are so kind and organized. The people came and picked me up at the house today and brought me over. And then my daughter and son showed up, and I wasn't expecting that. So we're having a wonderful day, sir. Hey, my name is uh, Pete White, and I served in the U.S. Army. I was worked in the motor pool, okay. and it was in uh, the 593rd Field Artillery, the second uh, armored uh, uh, with the tanks and the uh, 8-inch inch guns. It's, it's an honor to be doing this, and then I really appreciate the people doing it. They redid it about, I don't know, eight years ago. They sent it out in chunks to Utah to be done. You can't tell from here, but the Senate and the House both have fancy balconies that they can sit out there and watch all the us.
Well, this is a wonderful experience to be with so many veterans and old friends and, and to see this. I've been to Washington probably 50 times on business, but I never had a chance to come here. So I really am, am uh, you know, very uh, impressed with what they're doing and I appreciate the opportunity to be here. It's, uh, it's great. I served in Korea during the war. I was there 52 to 53. Uh, I didn't plan to make the Army my career, but it turned out uh, that that's what happened. I, I went back to Korea again in, in, uh, in 59, and I was a Lieutenant Colonel then and commanded an Honest John Battalion. And it was amazing how the Korean people were so aware of military people who had served in the Korean War. They appreciated our, our efforts there and it made me feel good just like it makes me feel good to be here today. So you found their names here? Yeah, found three names of the three that I knew and flew with while I was in Korea on the B-26 bombers. And uh, we had to fly 50 missions before we could go back. And uh, it was the usual. We flew low-level night missions most all the time. And that's pretty much what we did. There's one of them is this one here. Howard Crow Show up here is the other one. Yeah, I see it. And then Karpowitz. Did you serve with him? Yeah, uh, they, we, we were in the same squadron. Okay. Yeah, we were stationed at K-8 in Korea. Yeah, here's Carpo, it's here. I tell you, I am taken away by what uh, the honor flight people do for Marines, airmen, Navy, whatever, you know. It, it just blows me away. What I started to say, I think I can say it now, I had friends in Pennsylvania, and we visited them, and on the way back to Greenville, he surprised me and brought me by. And the, the wall, were all the pictures on it? Yeah, just on yeah, the other side. All, all right. I uh, saw it, and I just had to walk away from everybody to this, you know, you just, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. I was telling Kathy I couldn't talk about it for years. My name is Bobby Gant. I served in the Navy for two years aboard the USS Battleship Missouri. And it, uh, it just, it's just the two years the last year of the war and the, my last year was in peacetime. It's wonderful for me because I've never been here before and I've always wanted to. And my daughter and granddaughter are here with me and her uh, fiance. And they're hauling me around today, putting a lot of load on them, but I really do appreciate it. I'm really enjoying what they're doing for me and I'm enjoying the scenery here. It's, it's, I'm proud to see uh, our capital.
shores of Tripoli.